Tingling, burning, numbness, stabbing, and shooting pains. My goodness, for those suffering from painful diabetic neuropathy or PDN, symptoms like these can be all too familiar, unfortunately. Back from Gulf Coast Clinical Research to tell us more about PDN and how you can treat it is Christine Gorgas. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. Thank you. So this is something we haven't chatted about. I was very no. interested to kind of learn about this and yes. kind of what your team is doing to look at this a little bit further. But mm -hmm. kind of go, you know, we talk about those symptoms how do people live with symptoms like that it can be very difficult and as we were discussing earlier um, unfortunately some of those symptoms cause them to go and get the treatment for their diabetes 60 to 70 percent of patients with diabetes will have some sort of neuropathy um, during the course of their disease a lot of times when we interview patients the pain actually triggered them to go to the doctor so and that's that how they found out they were diabetic. exactly because the neuropathy is basically a set of nerve disorders that is caused by damage to the nerves due to elevated levels of glucose for a prolonged ah. period of time. There are some other contributing factors, blood pressure, weight can contribute to mm -hmm. that as well, but that's typically what we're looking at when we talk about diabetic pain. It's that pain resulting from damage to the nerve endings because of those elevated blood glucose levels. Well, and unfortunately, from what I understand from you, there's really no go-to treatment that stops no. the that stops this from happening and stops the pain altogether. Right. There's no cure for diabetic neuropathy. The only thing we can do is really manage those symptoms of that pain. And unfortunately, the first step is always to get the blood glucose under control because we don't want further damage to the nerve endings. Then we're looking at, unfortunately, just a set of medications that were never really intended for this yeah, purpose. Yeah, this is fascinating to yes. me. So what is working? What is some of the medications that is helping? Currently, diabetic neuropathic pain is usually treated by either the tricyclic antidepressants, the typical antidepressants now, the SNRIs or the SSRIs. Um, anticonvulsants can help with that pain. And then some of the narcotics, the opiates, can also help control that pain. Over-the-counter pain medications, your typical NSAIDs that are used for general pain have not been shown to be effective. And so they're looking for new treatments every day to help with the pain. Well, and that's kind of where your team steps yes. in. I know you guys are very eager to help people too. <laughs> so kind of explain what your team is doing. And I know there's a, a new trial that's getting ready to... Yes, um, right now we're starting, uh, we're enrolling a new trial for patients with diabetic neuropathic pain. It's actually looking at a topical cream that's really geared specifically for diabetic neuropathic pain. Wow, okay. So we're evaluating the effectiveness of that treatment. Um, a lot of the treatments that are currently out there, like I said, they're not necessarily mm. ever intended for that in the first place. There are some side effects. They're not very effective. So we're looking at new yeah. medications every day for the targeted treatment of that pain. Well, if someone is watching at home, maybe they are suffering from this or, or know a loved one or a friend mm -hmm. who is, and they say, okay, let's let's find out more. What would you have them do? How do you can even find out if you would be a good candidate for a trial? Oh, absolutely. Um, you can always contact us either by our website or go online. Mm -hmm. We always have a lot of educational material on our website to help patients understand, first and foremost, what the conditions are, mm -hmm. what the symptoms are. We always encourage patients to go and talk to your doctors as well. And then if you're interested in mm -hmm. coming into a trial, you can always contact us. We're happy to do mm -hmm. a pre-screen with you over the phone to evaluate mm -hmm. what your health conditions are to see if you would possibly qualify to come in and participate. Well, yeah, and as we close here, because this is just one of the many things that you guys are researching and, and kind of focusing on. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are some yeah. of the other ones that are... Where our clinic primarily is uh, what we call a central nervous system focused clinic. Mm -hmm. So we deal with a lot of medications that are focused on um, the central nervous system. So we have everything from fibromyalgia to the diabetic mm -hmm. pain, ADHD, depression, anxiety. Um, there are several different trials. And the interesting thing about research is there's new trials coming up mm -hmm. every sem yeah. several months. So we always tell patients we may not have a trial for that today, yeah, but, come but back in, and in check three it or out. four months we, we may. Yeah. So we always All encourage right. everyone to go to the website. We will tell you exactly what's going on, and you can always give us a call and find out. Christine, thank you so much You're for being welcome. here this morning. I hope we can help uh, some people, and we look forward to having you back. Thank you. And, of course, for more info, you can go to our website as well. We'll send it over to staff. Since we are talking about one of the biggest complications of diabetes, we thought it would be a good time to give you some of the warning signs of the debil debilitating disease. According to the American Diabetes so Association, here are a few symptoms that you should be uh, looking for to find out if you suffer from type 2 diabetes. Going to the bathroom often. The feeling of severe thirst can also be another warning sign, as is extreme fatigue. 
cuts and bruises that are slow to heal. That's another sign. And finally, blurry vision is a warning sign. Now we stress that these are just signs, so if you think you might have diabetes, contact your doctor. Super important. All right, same family, new drama. Up next, we take a peek inside the lion's den and take a look at what's ahead on the second half of season two of Empire. Then, ladies, how would you like another excuse, hey, to buy a new purse? We have details on how buying a new handbag could really give a helping hand to families in need.